Welcome to the launch of Project Compassion in 2024. Project Compassion runs each year during Lent, and it's an opportunity for us to celebrate the incredible generosity of the Australian Catholic community, as well as to showcase the work of our partners overseas and here in Australia. The theme of this year's Project Compassion is once again, for all future generations. The theme this year takes its inspiration from the story of Moses. God tells him that he is longing for justice in the world. We take courage from this story as an example of leaning in to the building of God's kingdom in the world. This year, we showcase the story of Renita from the Philippines. She became pregnant when she was a teenager and had to leave school putting her at risk of never completing senior high school. Thanks to the generosity of Australians and the work of our partners overseas, Renita was able to attend alternative education classes. I already find it that st studying is very important when I have my children. I need to work hard for my kids. I need to find a good job to be inspiration to them. Here in Philippines, you can find the job even though you're high school graduate or senior graduate. That's why it gives me more confidence when I finish us. Leia is a mother of five from Samoa. Not having access to a reliable source of clean water was very difficult for Leia and her family. When their water ran out, she had to walk with her young children to collect water buckets and containers from a neighbour down the street. Her children would sometimes miss out on school because they didn't have access to clean drinking water. With the support of Caritas Australia's local partner, Caritas Samoa, a water tank was installed at their home. She and her family now have a steady supply of clean drinking water at home. Next year, they will also have a toilet built with the support of Caritas Samoa, which will further improve their health and living conditions. And in Malawi, we have memory whose family was so poor they couldn't afford school shoes for her to wear each day. In my life it was like uh, hard, I can say that, because being the firstborn and my parents only depends on farming, so to have basic needs in life was not, it was not easy. So when the season is not going well, we suffer a lot because we don't have food and some things like so poor. Memory was supported with fees to attend a technical college where she learned carpentry skills. Many women drop out from school because of lack of school fees, which leads to have early marriage and early pregnancy, which leads to more poverty. She's the first female carpenter in her village, working in Malawi's largest power station, and she has great dreams of one day running her own carpentry business. Your generosity lifts up the lives of people like Renita, Leia and Memory all over the world. And you can continue to support Project Compassion this year. You can go to our website and give directly online or through our Project Compassion box donations. You can find a QR code on one of our Project Compassion boxes or perhaps set up your own personalised online community fundraising page. Your support makes a huge difference in the lives of the world's poor. You can also spread the good news of the work of Caritas Australia by talking about Project Compassion to your family and friends, in your parishes and in your schools. Your support truly does make a difference now and for all future generations. I'm really excited about what we can achieve together during Project Compassion in 2024.